FDE. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video. Today, uh, I thought I'd do one on uh, some guns and or a gun partic particular. I'll do one at a time and show you what the setup is like. And I thought I'd show, start with the shortest one I've got. Um, and uh, before we get started on that, uh, a few shout outs uh, to some companies. Uh, Patriot Provisions, uh, this is the hat I'm wearing theirs. Uh, they're a pretty good clothing company that's starting out. So check them out at patriotprovisions.com. And I'm always wearing Victos gear. Victos is a fairly new company. You've seen them on my channel. Um, nothing, uh, nothing but good things to say about that clothing brand. I like everything they make from um, hats, jackets, t-shirts, pants. They do a good job. I especially like their new jackets. Um, this is their new Kruger jacket. And all their jackets have uh, a side a cut out for uh, a gun port. You can keep it open like that or you can keep it open with the bottom. And you got all you can draw your uh, concealed weapon or have your hand on your concealed weapon. And it, uh, nobody would even know the difference if this looks like it's in your pocket. So check and pick those out. Great company. I have no, I have nothing but good things to say about them. Their footwear is super comfortable. So, uh, Victos.com, V-I-K-T-O-S. Moving on, so here is my shortest AR pistol build. And I've got in my uh, new Saber Equipments uh, um, the professional uh, covert line. This is the 30 inch. And my AR pistol, since it's the shortest one I've got, it has a seven and a half inch barrel. I'm going to show you in a second. All right. So here it is. It's. Uh, I'll just go over the parts with you and why I have it set up the way I do. This is basically my PDW home defense gun. Yes, it is. It is in five five six. I'd. I'd like to have it in three hundred blackout, but. That's just another caliber for me to carry, and I'm not interested in trying to carry another or uh, stockpile another uh, type of ammo. So, uh, start from the front and we'll go all the way to the end. Up front here is uh, multiple devices the Surefire Warcomp Close Time. Um, I like the Warcomp, it does a good job of uh, flash suppression as well as uh, it's got those ports on top to keep the muzzle down. Um, since it is a home defense weapon, I wanted minimal flash, so this thing does a good job of minimizing that even on a short barrel like this. Um, barrel is a seven and a half inch uh, Roscoe Bloodline barrel. It's a unicorn. Uh, you can't find it anymore. Uh, it was a gift from a, a good friend of mine. So that's that's what started off this whole build. Rail uh, is a Geisley Mark Eight seven inch rail. And with the close time right here, I can put the Surefire work, um, Warden on the Warcom. And uh, yeah, you could, you could put it on there and uh, it will def def eliminate the side blast from this, but it will create a fireball, um, pretty significant one. So either way, it's gonna be loud. This is a very loud gun. The shorter you go, the louder it's gonna get. Um, obviously, I have the Cloud Defensive Owl. This thing is, as the weight, obviously, yes, it does, but it um, it's easy to actuate, and the thing's built like a tank, and with a limited amount of rail on there, it's easy to attach. Um, you don't have to worry about anything on that. Um, rail covers are rail scales. These are the HTP ones, and the dragon scales are just they're pretty aggressive, and they're nice and thick. Uh, excellent rails, uh, rail covers. Right front here is a little finger stop made by Valhalla Tactical, and it's nice and low profile. Uh, I was running this without it for a while, but you're so close to the, the barrel, it doesn't hurt to have an extra little finger stop. And down here is the uh, the carve by Rail Scales, and it's great for uh, it fits my hands perfectly. So hand placement, um, great for place to index, push against your shoulder. Next is a, uh, I have a, for the sling, it's a Ned Fawcett Tactical uh, Lightweight Sling. This is a prototype that he sent me before uh, they released it, so uh, they didn't laser cut it. 
and I believe it's made by Armageddon Gear. Great little sling for a lightweight setup. And I'm containing the sling with the sentry strap here with uh, made by the Neo Mag. So those guys there created uh, the sentry strap. Yeah, you could use a rubber band, a ranger band, or whatever you want. But this thing is nice where it has a magnet. So you can easily, it's super strong. So you see how bunched up that is and it's been holding that no problem. So um, all you do is just flip it to deploy it. And you have a full sling and this thing just, if it goes to the other side, it's out of your way. Um, next thing is, um, yeah, it's got a spike slower. And yeah, it's, I, I get it. The, the Punisher skull is pretty cheesy. But at the time, I wanted to build this. That was between this and a, uh, at a um, Anderson. So I chose the spikes and no problems with it. And for the upper, the upper is um, made by Aero Precision. This is their, uh, just their M4 upper, not the E1. And uh, you're asked about the sights. Sights are the Troy um, Battle HK Battle Sights, front and back. The front is just fixed and to save on rail space. And the back is uh, retractable or uh, collapsible. Uh, optic, I have the Holosun 503 um, GU, which they don't make anymore, and the Reptilia dot mount, it's nice and low profile. Uh, optics wise, I wanted something to last um, with hours. Um, I had the EOTech on here for a little bit, but having to turn it on um, every time I had to deploy it uh, wasn't something I wanted it to be a quick grab and go gun so I put this thing back on you don't get the same field of view that you do on uh, the EOTech but it does a good job uh, the Hollow Sun does uh, moving back I have a PMM um, their version of Bad Lever and I know you're gonna ask um, the what this thing is it's basically AR Maglock and I'm not going to go any further into that. It makes it uh, California legal for me to have this. And um, the bolt, bolt carrier group, is done, is also a Roscoe bolt carrier group. Absolutely no problems with it. Um, as you can see, rifle supply. They're my go to uh, gun shop and um, any gun work I need to get done. These guys actually Cerakoted both of these, um, upper and lower on this thing and pretty much built built it up for me. Um, they do laser engraving, any any kind of gun work you need to get done, they're out of Huntington Beach, so check them out. They also have a, a pretty good uh, online store, so riflesupply.com. And uh, the grip is the Reptilia CQG grip, and I like it. It's nice and, it's great for short guns like this, but it's also great for any other kind of gun. Scars, uh, AR-15s that are, um, uh, 14, 16 inch guns. Uh, I, I, if I could have this on all my guns, I would. Moving back, um, the the tube here is sanitized by JE uh, Machine Tech. Um, looks great, no problems with it. And uh, the brace here is the SBA3 with the SB Tactical from SB Tactical. And back here is the uh, Lunar Concepts um, split fix. If you're gonna run SBA3, that's a must-have. As you can see, it uh, it wraps around the bottom here. Because without it, it's pretty flimsy and comes apart. So it's exactly what I call the split fix. I think that's pretty much it. Um, if you're gonna get a cloud defensive product, whether it's a LCS, um, ATV ammo bag, um, or the Owl. And the upcoming rain is supposed to come out at the end of April. Uh, use my code, which is 50 shades at checkout, which is five zero shades, and I'll give you 10% off on your entire order. So looks like it's starting to rain. Perfect timing for me to wrap this up. This is a good little gun. Um, 7.5. It is pretty snappy at this length. Um, it has a a gas tube that is for uh, pistols so it's super short but it's manageable 
and super maneuverable indoors, but no, it's gonna get loud. So I do have Ear Pro almost standing by next to this thing. So I have to deploy this thing. It's gonna go loud and expect that to be, but um, I know some there's, is, there is a discussion on lethality and effectiveness of the shorter barrel um, ARs. I mean, if you're at contact uh, distance, yeah, it's not gonna get the velocity that you're gonna get when you're comparing it to a 10, 12 uh, inch barrel. But um, how, many, how many rounds is somebody gonna take before they go down at that close? Uh, it definitely carries a lot more rounds than you would on a pistol and have a light on it, easy maneuverable. I can shoot this one-handed. So, all right, rain's starting to pick up. So I think I'm pretty much done with this video. Uh, please subscribe if you like what you're watching, leave comments, um, you can DM me, email me, um, or check out 50shadesfde.com for my blog. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll keep doing these as long as I have time to do them. Thanks for watching.